Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of attributes of the coordinate plane. This is standard 5.8a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 11 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four statements. We need to find one that is not true about a coordinate grid. So let's see if we can go ahead and at least draw a coordinate grid to get us started here. And so let's go ahead and label it one, two, three, four. Uh, we'll just stop at five. It can go further, obviously. One, two, three, four, and then five. All right, so let's see what we actually know about our coordinate grid. So we haven't labeled anything else. I will let those items and those labels come to us from the answer selection. So all we have are some numbers. So we need to first label our axes right here. So A says the vertical number line is the Y axis. All right. So let's go ahead and label these axes right here. So one of these is the X and one of these is the Y. And this is something that we just have to memorize. When we are looking at our coordinate grid, we always start horizontal. We always go side to side. And so right down here, this horizontal axis usually has a little X over by the arrow. And this is our X axis and it goes side to side, which means our vertical axis is the Y axis. So we start with our X, then we go to our Y, and that is how we use the coordinate grid, X and Y. X is horizontal and Y is vertical, which means this is true. The vertical number line is the Y axis because it goes up and down, we are looking for something that is not true, which means we're going to need to not select A. That's the tricky part of this, is we're finding the one that is false. B. In a coordinate grid, the x-axis and the y-axis are perpendicular to each other. Now, that is a good statement here, because it all revolves around this word perpendicular. Now, what does perpendicular mean? Well, if we are looking at something that is perpendicular, we are looking at something that has a 90 degree angle or a right angle. And so we typically look at perpendicular angles. We're looking at square corners like this. And we might think about like rectangles. We might think about squares. But we're looking for that right angle, that 90 degrees. And if you look at a coordinate plane, yes, you could say, you could put a square right there. If you wanted to, right there where those two intersect, they are perpendicular. That is true. You're not going to uh, use a coordinate grid that kind of looks like this. That just wouldn't work very well. Uh, so that's, that's not going to work. So yes, they are perpendicular, which means we're not selecting this. C, the x-coordinate is the second number in an ordered pair. All right, so if we have an ordered pair like 3, comma, 3, which one's x and which one is y? Well, always think of alphabetical order. Even though they come at the very end of the alphabet, we know that the x comes before y, x, y, z, which means in our ordered pairs, x always comes first. We we go horizontal first, we go vertical second. This one says the x-coordinate is the second number. Actually, no, it's the first number, which means this is false. So that's probably our answer. Let's double check D. The origin is the intersection of the x-axis and the y-axis right there at 0, 0. That is our origin which means D is correct, we don't want it, and our answer is C.